Listen carefully to the sound of train passing over this track. What can you say about the track on which the train is going? It is not continuous. There is a gap between rails. Can you guess why? We discussed about the thermal expansion of solids, liquids and gases. Alcohol expands in thermometer and rises up. Hot air volume increases when heated. This causes its density to be smaller than the surrounding air. This results in hot air rising upward. Solids also undergo thermal expansion. Railway tracks and bridges have expansion joints to allow them to freely expand and contract with temperature changes. Different substances expand at a different rate. This is the aluminium foil pasted to the paper. If I heat the strip, it will bend in one direction. Amount of expansion for aluminium is different than that of paper. What could be the cause of this expansion? In a solid, the atoms or molecules are closely packed together. When heated, their kinetic energy pushes neighboring atoms or molecules apart from each other. This neighbor to neighbor pushing results in a slightly greater distance. This adds up to a larger size for the whole body. There is no preferred direction for expansion. It happens in all directions. Let me take this aluminium rod and attach it to the wooden stand. One end of the rod is fixed and it cannot move. Aluminium rod can expand only in one direction. I will attach this mechanism to the other end. This mechanism allows us to see the small expansion of aluminium rod on the ruler. If I push here like this, pointer goes up. Let me heat the rod for 5 minutes. As it is heated, it expands. This is linear expansion of aluminium rod. Aluminium rod on expansion pushes the lever. This in turn moves the pointer on the scale upwards. Rod contracts on cooling and pointer moves down again. We know that objects expand in all directions. Will this small steel ball pass through the hole when aluminium sheet is heated? Yes, it will expand in all directions. As I heat it, aluminium expands. The hole becomes large enough for ball to pass through. We saw how rod and plate expand in one and two dimensions. If I take a cube of aluminium, how will you test if it got expanded in all directions upon heating? Solids expand in proportion to the change in temperature. Coefficient of linear thermal expansion is property of the material. It indicates the extent to which a material expands on heating. Delta L is equal to L multiplied by delta T multiplied by alpha. Change in length is delta L. Length is L. Change in temperature is delta T. Coefficient of linear expansion is alpha. Area will expand twice as much as length and volume will expand thrice as much as length. Similar to solids, liquids also expand. If I heat this container which contains alcohol, its level goes up. Just like solids, liquids have coefficient of volume thermal expansion. Let me keep a balloon on the mouth of this glass bottle. If I put this bottle in the hot water, what will happen? Temperature of the glass and hence that of air inside will rise. This will result in expansion of air. As there is no way glass bottle can expand, the air moves out in the balloon and balloon expands. I will make cork for the glass bottle from the eraser. PVC pipe is used to cut it into round shape. Let me remove balloon and place this cork instead. What will happen if I place this bottle in large container and add hot water? Air inside glass bottle expands. As cork is not allowing it to move out, pressure inside the bottle goes up and after some time cork pops up. 
This indicates that pressure was built up inside due to heating of the gas. We can use FET simulation to learn how pressure builds up when gas is heated. Let me put some gas in the container. Container is closed with the lid. Pressure gauge indicates the pressure inside the container. Temperature inside the container can be seen here. Right now, volume is kept constant. If I heat the container, what will happen? Pressure will increase and eventually lid will be blown away. Expansion of gas can be measured by keeping its pressure constant. This volumetric expansion coefficient is called as constant pressure expansion coefficient. Summary We discussed about the effect of heat on expansion of solids, liquids and gases. Coefficient of linear thermal expansion is property of the material. It indicates the extent to which a material expands on heating. Change in length delta L can be calculated by multiplying the length. Change in temperature and coefficient of linear expansion alpha. Area will expand twice as much as length and volume will expand thrice as much as length. Challenge Find out how this effect of heat plays a role in things around you. Your mother has a glass container with metal lid on it. It is very tight. She cannot open it. You also tried your best to open it, but you also failed. What will you do to open it easily? Let us take this balloon and attach it to the aluminum can. What will happen if I put this inside boiling water? Do it yourself and discuss your findings with your friends.